so welcome back guys as you can see i am moving fang and that means we're in for some wall pressure <clears throat> i think fang wei is one of the best characters at the wall and i will explain you why and believe me afterwards you will think the same so first things first i have to do this very quick because fang has a lot of stuff first things first is his downfall 2-2 two -two. save wall bounce big damage potential Afterwards, you can do the uh, parry that I showed you in the last video. If they didn't, if you didn't check that out, do it right now. And the damage potential is not as big as other wall bounces, but it is definitely there and it's safe. Has good range, um, but if the first hit whiffs, you're gonna get launched for that if they whiff punish you. So use it out of sidesteps, in my opinion. Uh, second move that you should use, I will cover highs and lows first, and then I will go over to lows at the wall. Second move, in my opinion, is sidestep 1 plus 2. One of the best moves overall he has and one of the best pressure tools in the game at the wall. This is plus 1 to 0 on block. Um, has a mix up between sidestep 1 plus 2 and sidestep 4, which gives you a free combo at the wall, of course, because they have nowhere to go. And even if they block this, you can still wall splat them with back 1. Do you get that? This is a free wall splat and you should use it every time every freaking time if you can if you have the time the next moves are two together the first one is sidestep two and the second one is back four the two both have the same purpose but different uh, ways of using them so fish hook is the most annoying move at the wall to be honest it's quick you're plus two that or plus three which means you can do a uh, counter hit 4 to wall splat them or a counter hit back 1 to wall splat them on hit and on block of course you have the 1 plus 2 sabaki if you want or the 4 3 4 sabaki that I will cover later. This keeps them in check and honest at the wall and sidestep 2 in my opinion is super annoying at the wall because you have sidestep 1 plus 2 and this move on block is plus 3 which means that the jab is uninterruptible and this gives a free shoulder at the wall. Um, they cannot block the jab afterwards so sidestep 2 actually is super annoying at the wall um, and it keeps the opponent from stepping and afterwards you also have 1 plus 2 which uh, back turn 1 plus 2 which gives a guaranteed um, down for 1 plus 2 I think yeah like this guaranteed damage and good ok next move i have to cover is the down back one spray so down back one four um can be hit confirmed if you're very sharp it is kind of difficult uh, it can be delayed but uh, if you practice this you can hit confirm this and this is a low uh, a wall splat this is only minus two on block but they can duck it but of course now you have the extension with on counter hit which on counter hit will do a wall splat as well and this high crushes and it's 16 frames so it's fast and if you if he blocks it and you don't want to deal with pressure afterwards you can do this i mean it's minus nine but the the um, range between the characters is very good afterwards or you could go in this into punch parries into wavering hands if he jabs afterwards so this is again a four gate mix up which is very very good uh, the next thing i want to cover um is this move <laughs> this is a very very strange move but as a round ender it's pretty good so you have this move which is zero on block has a delayable extension which is only minus 11 so they have to low parry it but you can fuck up their timing if you delay it uh, it is plus eight on hit and it's zero on block like I, I said so you can back one afterwards for a wall splat and it's very good for ending rounds because if you only do this and they will duck afterwards and it's already zero that means you have mental frames and you keep can keep going sorry that i'm just covering briefly because there are so many moves down for four one plus two becomes very annoying at the wall because the delayable extension will wall splat this will wall splat and even though the opponent tends to duck because this is only plus one uh, the string is a three gate mix up and has very good range uh, so it's definitely usable at the wall the next one is his demon paw fort fort one uh, fort fort two sometimes you just want to back out and see what the opponent is doing so they think they can freely move and then boom 
<laughs> demon power. And with his roll dash, you can extend the range to like a, a range four or five <laughs> to hit this move, even though it's very slow then. Um, but the move itself is still very, very good for doing so if you want to space out a little bit. And even though there are more moves to cover, I think that's about it. With one last exception, the counter hit down a uh, 4, 2, 1, 1 plus 2. So this string is counter hit confirmable at the first hit. If you see the second hit connecting and you input it right away, the shoulder is guaranteed. Although the first hit is not hit confirmable. It used to be that you could confirm every hit, but now you have to do it quick and if the second hit hit, that means you got the counter hit and you have to go for it. If they block it, however, or if you delay the first one, it can be that they can block the second hit and you're gonna get launched. So only do it if the second hit connected because the third hit is launch punishable. But this is also very good if people are button happy and this will shit in their dinner and do so much damage. There are so many other stuff that I wanted to show you, but I don't have the time for it. This will take forever then. The next things are the lows, which lows you should use at the wall. So first of all, down four becomes super annoying at the wall. It's only minus 11, it is zero or plus one. And if it's zero or plus one, of course you can do back one on hit. And on block, they only get a wild standing four. And you can extend this and do the uh, one plus two extension to wall splat them, which is on counter guaranteed. And it's only plus 10, uh, minus 10. So you're only gonna get jab punished. And you can delay this quite a bit. So people are gonna stay there and eat this <coughs> every day, all day, which makes it very, very good. The next one, of course, is sidestep four. I talked about this, use it sparingly. I would use this 80% to 90% of the time and squeeze this in if I need the damage. And of course it's launch punishable, so be aware of that. Next thing is his down back three. Down back three is plus four and leaves in them in crouch, so it means that they can only step and walk in one direction and makes one plus, uh, while standing one, two, uninterruptible. Um, which is very annoying because this can be delayed quite some time, so you can catch them with the third hit, and of course that also wall splash. Or you can do full crouch one, or you can do while standing four, or you could just block. I mean, who does that, but you could do it. And I think that's about it. I think uh, you could, of course, mention this, but this is too risky. When you go for this, just go for sidestep four and do your damage. Because if they block this, it will hurt. And I also think this is not good. I see people use this because you can backswing blow afterwards if they block the whole thing. But a good player will always low parry the hit. And even if you uh, cancel it, you're on minus frame. So I. I'm not using that too much, but I saw people use it actually a lot. And I got two honorable mentions. First one is of course the Rage Drive. Um, I'm sorry if it sounds like I'm rushing it, but <laughs> he has so many moves that I have to cover, man. His, his wall game is, is insane and people say that he sucks. I, I really don't get it. Uh, his Rage Drive, of course, can lead to a lot of damage if placed correctly at the wall which I didn't do, but uh, you know that it does a lot of damage. And if it gets blocked at the wall, it is plus three, which is good. It does chip damage, so you can kill your opponent uh, if he has just a, a sliver, a sliver left. And now we come to the last move, which is kind of gimmicky, but uh, I really like it. And that's up two. Up two is a slow as low, uh, slow as mid, which you can use after your wall combo and it's plus two on block. This is very gimmicky. Um, I use it sometimes to throw the timing of my opponent off. Uh, you can get a normal wall combo if this connects. Um, in another video I will... Oh wait, can I? I think I can, right? No, I cannot! What the hell? But I can get this, right? Okay, you can get this, but it's more for the plus frames, honestly, than uh, for, the, for the combo, to be honest. So I hope that helped you getting an overview. I know there's still this move. Uh, I saw people using this move to wall splat, to jab, crush. There's a ton of moves, but I think those are the most important ones. And 
if you want to see his wall combo situation or anything else just let me know and i will see you in the next one goodbye